So here at Goring Gap with Lionel, showing him the first time or the first go using the foil drive. We've got the foil drive in the lowest position, so 60 centimeter, mar um, 60 centimeter from the top of the mast. Uh, I was just explaining that the biggest problem with it is because the power is coming from really low down, uh, you need to make sure you keep all the body weight on the nose before you try and stand up because because it's low down, it's like pendulum effect, it like constantly wants to pull up. So when I was learning the first time I did it, I tried to come up too early and basically you get this point where you can sort of get up and standing up and it ends up buckarooing and you sort of like come up like this and then you let go of the throttle because you're trying to get it to level out and you just keep basically doing this. And I was just saying to Lionel, the best thing to do is to actually hug the nose of the board, stay really low. I've also put the mast a bit further back to reduce the lift. Get fully baning before you come up. They're almost like surfing. So you're laying on the board, you would be paddling, but you're not, you don't have to paddle. And then you basically come up uh, when you're fully baning and the board's nice and stable, the foil's nice and stable. And then you're the one that controls the lift, not letting the motor control the lift. Um, and then, yeah, the other thing is obviously you've got a propeller, you've got a lot of power in your hand, you've got metal props in the water, which is a safety aspect. The controller does disconnect when you crash and you fall in the water. Um, it loses connection with the motor. But if you get a bit trigger happy or a bit excited because it's your first go, the main thing is that you just don't touch the trigger until you're fully on the board. Um, you don't want to basically be grabbing this as you're climbing on the board because if your leg is under the board, I mean, it's, it's quite unlikely that there is a chance that you might have your leg in the wrong place as you spin as you spin up the, the motor. Um, just take your time with it, basically. That's what I would sort of advise. Uh, but yeah, we're on like a hundred and, I think it's 120 litre, 120 litre downwind board. It's quite wide, so it's nice and stable with a 1305 high aspect foil. Um, could, you know, medium aspect foil might be better, um, but it's what we've got today. And yeah, 82 centimetre mast. Obviously there's five centimetre uh, on, the, on the box. And then we've got the max power battery, so we should have a good 40 minute run time on this, and then we'll swap to the other one. Uh, but yeah, I'll go out now and just show you first. You. So just showing Lionel the remote for the first time. So we've got a safety tether, so you can't, like, you let go, it's not, you're going to lose it in the water, as if I don't think floats, so it might do, but I doubt it. And then basically, this is already connected to the foil drive, it's the remote, the battery, and the motor. Um, to turn it on, you just basically hold down the power then it turns on. They have a built-in safety feature, so when you first turn it on, uh, it, it's instantly locked. I don't know if you can see that, but it's instantly locked. You have to hold down this, this other trigger for three seconds before this does anything. So right now, which I think is the best way to go into the water. Um, so I go into the water with it, with it on, connected, and then when I'm comfortable, I'm on the board, then I'll hold down this button, and then I can obviously shoot away. Um, but yeah, I was saying it's a dead man's finger, so when you fall off and you let go, that gets rid of the power on the propeller, gets rid of the throttle. So it's, it's quite safe. And then there's a few other modes in here which I'll show you. Uh, once I've turned off the lock and I'm ready to go, I'll press this three, I think it's this or this three times, and I'll bring up the power battery state. There's also a throttle state, so you can learn how much throttle power you want to be using, but I find the battery one is best. And then I'll run until like 10%. Uh, when I'm throttled down, or maybe even like 5% when I'm throttled down, when I release the throttle, the battery power will go back to its actual neutral stage, which probably be around 10%. So you don't want to ever go completely depleted. It'd be quite hard to paddle this thing back in. Um, but yeah, we'll go down to about 5%. But yeah, here we go. Phew! Cool. So you're deep enough now where you're up to your chest? Yeah. Hold it down three seconds so it's on. So I could technically go if I want to. Wow. But I'll climb on. And then, yeah, so I'm going to lean as far forward as I can, keep the nose down.
Yes, good speed. Faster, faster, faster. Ah, oh, I caught the nose. In there. So our battery lasts about 40 minutes. Okay. Do you have more than one battery? Yeah. There you go. Phew! That's in 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Just keep an eye on that, leave it on that battery power mode. Try and do a carve around me. <laughs> Mate, that's so much fun. Yeah. Right, quick blast out. Actually, 45. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Yeah, epic. Actually, a lot easier than I thought. The first sort of maybe five goes were a bit chaotic, but once you've got that front foot really planted and sideways over the front, and you had to just come up really slowly, keep your balance on your front leg, and then when you're up and playing in, it was like quite nice and groovy. Turning's right. a bit tricky, but yeah, I was doing bank turns out there in my first, first go, first battery. 20 minutes, half really an hour, easy. yeah. Really nice front wing, yeah. nice bit of lift, nice control. Quite manoeuvrable, yeah, loved it. No damage, pretty safe, I think. Good haircut as well. <laughs> awesome. Cheers, Sam. That's right. Not that so here's Sam demonstrating a quick pit stop. I actually struggle to get my finger in there. Yeah. That 
touch off, touch off. Just got to get your nails under this part. Your finger doesn't really fit in there, but if you can get your nails under, under so those two bits. That's the biggest bits. battery, that's the power. And this is the Sport, or the Performance, they call it. So the big one we just had out, and I've just had that out, flat out. This is the Sport battery, so it's a bit smaller. Less so weight, I guess. A kilo lighter. Which uh, is but, gonna be nice about 10 in minutes less run time. Got some Tef gel on the end, whatever you call it. Ah, oh, not the right size no battery. Comes with the kit, anyway. Don't have to buy it. Just have to buy the extra battery. What? Getting shallow. Quite quick. That big coil was moving around a bit. A bit wavering, as we called it. Wobbly. Awesome. 